Okay, so this one is going to be a not-so-shameless plug for the university where I studied my undergraduate degree. Please note that this is a purely personal account written from my perspective. It does not necessarily represent the opinions of everybody who attended Newcastle before I did, or necessarily those who will after me. I really hope it does though, with all the sincerity in the world that I can muster, because I had a truly excellent time indeed. So firstly, all biology programmes at Newcastle University have a shared first year, after which you can choose to stay on your generalised biology degree or specialise in any one of zoology, ecology or cellular and molecular biology, which is what I studied. And I actually remember being quite irritated by this when I first started because I'd gone in knowing what aspects I already want to study and thankfully that didn't change much. So the idea of spending a year studying things that I wasn't necessarily interested in wasn't overly appealing right at the beginning. But looking back retrospectively, I think it's actually fantastic because it makes sure that everybody has the same core principles understood no matter what they go and do. And it allows people to wait a year before they have to make that choice. You know, I was speaking selfishly in my case where I knew what I wanted to study. It's quite possible that after exposure to the other topics you might change your mind completely and I think that is a wonderful opportunity that the course offers. And not only that, but within your focus there are also optional modules that can be taken in every single year of the course that allow you to direct your own learning in the way that you want to take it. So the second thing I want to talk about is the absolutely excellent standard of teaching that you will receive during your biology degree. All of the lecturers are experts in their own field and incredibly passionate about what they're teaching and it really comes across in the classes. Everyone was always happy to answer any questions I had about the material and always provided plenty of external reference sources and reading guidance if you wanted to take what you'd covered in the class just a little bit further and learn some more stuff for yourself. And the facilities are great as well. You'll be situated in the Ridley Building if you choose to do a biology degree at Newcastle, which is between the main campus and the medical school. Most of your lectures and lab teaching will happen here, although sometimes you will have classes elsewhere on campus depending on the precise module that you're taking. And the teaching labs in the Ridley Building are huge and really, really well equipped. There's things like fume hoods, centrifuges, PCR machines, all the things that you would need to develop an industry standard set of skills by the time you leave. There's a really good mix between exams and coursework as well. Personally speaking, I prefer coursework because I think you have the time to work on it and at least in theory produce a piece of work that you're really proud of, whereas exams obviously that's a lot more difficult because of the time pressure involved. But looking at it from that perspective where, as I say, I prefer coursework, I got along just fine with the balance between exams and written coursework that there was. The exams that you take are most commonly essay based, so you might have to write an essay from a choice of three, maybe, or two essays from a choice of six or something like that. But there are also other elements, things like multiple choice questions, data interpretation exercises, or calculations that you might have to do depending on the class. And the coursework is a lot more varied, obviously, by its nature. It could be a lab work session followed by a report, maybe, production of infographics, calculation exercises, or just completion of sort of homework style questions to test your learning. And a small point, but not one to be overlooked, I think, is that in your third year, like virtually any other degree, you will complete a dissertation, but for biology, these are to be handed in in March, rather than May, as might be more common in other schools and other subjects. And teaching is massively reduced after the January set of exams, so you've got plenty of time to work purely on your dissertation, get it handed in in March, and then teaching of the final classes picks up after that, ready for the exams in May and June. And it's worth pointing out too that the dissertation that you're asked to do can take several forms. You can choose to either do an extended literature review of a topic that interests you, an information project to assist in education or communication of a particular concept or idea, which might allow you to work with organisations in the local area, or finally some sort of research project, which is what I did, which could be either wet, meaning that it's in a lab, you're doing actual hands-on research, or it could be a dry project, which is based more on statistical analysis. Now we're into my favourite bit of this video, and it's what I always love to talk about. It's the opportunities that are available to you while you're studying biology at Newcastle. So the first thing I want to talk about in this section is the peer mentoring system. 
So all first year students who come to do biology at Newcastle, assuming you want to be involved, are given a peer mentor from either second or third year. And the role of this person is to sort of introduce them to university life and act as a first point of reference if they have any concerns or are struggling to find their way around, things like that. And I think this is such a useful thing to do, both as a first year and to give your time to do uh, later on. My mentor, Lauren, was absolutely fantastic. She went on to do very good things. Um, I was a mentor myself, and I'm sure that the guys that I looked after will go on to do very, very good things themselves. And that's something that I, I think very, very highly of, is the peer mentoring system. Um, another thing to talk about, I've spoken about before, but iGEM was a huge part of my university experience. I've put a link to my article on the website explaining exactly what iGEM is, but it's an international genetic engineering competition, which I was really, really lucky to be involved with, and it was one of the best things that I've ever done. It's a really, really well-renowned competition, looked upon really favourably um, by people in the industry, and it gets you a ton of hands-on experience in the lab doing really good industry standard genetic engineering. I also have memories of delivering talks to groups of school children in the Great North Museum, which is very close to the university, about things like evolution. And I think the general thing to say about um, the way this is done, but this is true of Newcastle University in general, I know this is built into their ethos, is the idea of taking the passion that you have for your subject, whatever it is, and going out into the community and doing useful things with it. You know, in the case of biology, it's taking that science, taking it out into society. I mean, science and society is a phrase you would hear a lot, realising that science on its own um, is fantastic, you know, science for science's sake, but everything you do has social consequences, and it's how can we use what we know, you know, we're gaining all these skills, how can we use them in a responsible and effective way to make the environment around us better for everyone, be it through education or the application of techniques to healthcare and medicine? You know, speaking purely as a biologist, the things I saw, because I got to go into a lot of the different labs, the Centre for Aging and the Neuroscience Building, the Bacterial Cell Biology Building, where I spent a lot of last summer, there's really high-level research going on all around you, and it's, you know, it, it's proper biologists doing proper biology stuff, and just being surrounded by all this going on. It's, it's not just a classroom, you know, this is real science that is going on, and it's really exciting. But I am rambling now. That is the key message. Excellent teaching, fantastic facilities, but more than that, it really allows you the opportunity to do more with what you love to do. And it's safe to say that with biology degrees at Newcastle University, you will get out as much as you put in. And crucially, they will provide you with the opportunity to put plenty in. Best of luck with the applications, and I hope you choose Newcastle. Have a good time.